Thank you. And to all the nations. All over the world. All over the world. Telling them that in New York. And telling them that in New York. 78 other cities. And 78 other cities. There are people in the United States. There are people in the United States.
obstruct Iranian struggle. They obstruct Iranian struggle for democracy. For democracy. We have faith. We have faith in the power. In the power of the people. Of the people. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The reason we're picking on Indiana is they just passed the anti-union legislation. Which is more severe than Wisconsin's. So, Mr. Yeah, Daniels, we're coming after you, son.
message that we have heard from our Iranian friends here today. No war with Iran. No war on Iran. This is our message. We hear this loud and clear. And we are a grassroots organization where we just organize regular people, regular residents in little towns, big towns, to, to understand what the issues are. And in Staten Island, where I live, we have a long sign campaign that says, Exit Afghanistan. And do you know that the people that are putting up these signs are the people who have sons, cousins, nephews, and, um, and, and husbands who have been to Afghanistan, and they're taking these signs, and they are sick of war. It's been 10 years, and for the last six years, we've been hearing this message to have war on Iran. This is not a message that people are, want to listen to. We do not want to have another war. So thank you, everybody. We hear the message. We're taking it to the grassroots. All right. Sisters and brothers, my name is Monica Moorhead. I'm a member of Workers World Party, which is one of the embracing organizations of today's demonstration. And I think even if you don't understand everything about the history of, of Iran, the colonization of Iran by the British and then the U.S., one thing you should come away with with a very clear understanding. The Iranian people and the Iranian government are not our enemies. We have bigger enemies in right here, right here in the heart of New York City, which is right down on Wall Street. We live under a dictatorship of Wall Street, which benefits from war and occupation at the hands of the U.S. military. It is not the Iranian people who are closing down our hospitals. It is not the Iranian people who are laying off millions of people. We have 30 million people in this country who are either unemployed or unemployed. Shame on your sanctions and your wars!
say I want to work with you, I want to you say no, by your background that I know, you're not honest about your position. You know, everybody